today we're gonna to talk about the best neighborhoods for first time home buyers, and we like to call this our hidden gem series. So let's go and check it out. What's up, I'm Andrew Costello. I'm Roy Machado. And we're realtors out here in Sacramento, California with All City Homes. And today in this video, we're actually been going over all of the affordable homes for first time home buyers. We call this our Hidden Gems series. So make sure you guys check out the description below with all the other neighborhoods that most people don't know about that are good entry level homes for first time home buyers. Correct, so for first time home buyers, you know, it's a process in trying to really find a home. And understanding exactly where you are budget wise is one of the first things but the second thing is like well where are the neighborhoods and where are the houses and so in this series we're gonna explore all of the neighborhoods where we feel are great areas where really people don't necessarily know where they're at but after this series you'll know exactly what to look for and what's important to you and hopefully you'll find your first home. Nice. And this is great too for people who are actually moving into the Sacramento area. We have a lot of people doing that on a regular basis. So if you're new to the area or you're moving in, make sure you check out all these videos so we can find, help you actually find a neighborhood that would best fit your needs. So today the neighborhood we're looking at is in Mangan Park. Mangan Park is located on Fruit Ridge on 24th Street, adjacent to Hollywood Park, Southland Park, and Lamb Park and really you're minutes away from Midtown, downtown, Sacramento, transportation is super close, all the eateries are close by, and you're really getting the amenities of being close to these amazing neighborhoods at affordable prices. Let's go ahead and we're gonna actually tour the neighborhood and a home uh, and talk a little bit more about what Mangan Park has to offer here. So let's go check, let's go check it out. Hey, what are some things you wanna, that, that are good to know about Sacramento in general, or maybe if, if someone's new to the area that they should know about? Um, like I said, once you kind of like understand exactly where your budget is wise, um, the next thing is really understanding where are the neighborhoods at and what are the amenities and what's important to you, right? And so for properties like, or areas like this, like Megan Park, it's like what the amenities is really what improves your quality of life. Like where are the neighborhood parks? Where what are the schools? What school districts looking like? Where are the eateries? You know, um, and so those are the things to me that Mingan Park really has or, or is able to provide. You know, um, you don't have to pay like half a million dollars for uh, quality of life when you can afford to purchase in a neighborhood like Mangan Park, really adjacent to Southland Park or Hollywood Park and still yeah. have that quality of life. To me, that's important. And if you're like, you're a young family or just a young professional and you're like, you know what, I got my career going and I want to plant some roots and, you know, and you want a little bit more square footage in the yard, you know, this is one of the best areas for me to to really introduce a lot of my clients to and they've they've loved it and and the community is great you feel a sense of of really belonging in a sense because you know your neighbors because it's just a small pocket in sacramento yeah and you you were talking about the schools too yes um they actually you get to go to some very good schools or the kids get to go to some really good schools uh living in that neighborhood so yeah so Sutterville elementary school one of the ones uh that um that's really just regarded as a desirable area of school, um, Cal Middle School, and then of course McClatchy High School. So, um, and they're all within, you know, minutes away of driving or maybe even walking too. Yeah, the neighborhood's located between the two freeways, Highway 99 and I-5. Yeah. And really minutes away, um, each way, east and west, you're hitting a freeway and or if you take Freeport all the way down to uh, downtown that turns into uh, 21st Street so you have three ways to get from Midtown downtown or to south side of Sacramento um, other thing as far as the eateries too is like if you love Mexican Chinese Japanese Indian I'm talking everything they have it all here all within Freeport Boulevard um, you love dim sum is one of my <laughs> places to go. What, what's the dim sum spot that? Oh, that's, that's why I forget. Yeah, I, I just know where it's at. <laughs> All, right. All right, message us and we will tell you where the dim sum spot left, is at. Uh, left on the street right Tell here. you where the dim sum spot is at uh, that you need to check out. 
The one that I, I like, the one that I like going to is right by Land Park, which is not too far from here, called Ming Dynasty. Mm. Uh, that place is really good. Another awesome place to check out that's not too far from here is uh, Freeport Bakery. If you like chocolate yes. chip cookies, they have some premium chocolate chip cookies over there. Yeah. And if you are dog lovers and one of the uh, great dog, uh, dog parks are right down the street. All right, so we're in one of the houses here in Mangan Park. Uh, this home was actually sold back in August and now someone is flipping the property. So uh, Roy, yeah, what so were the stats? Price, it was originally sold for 222,000 and now it's on the market for 299,000. Actually, it's in contract with only five days on the market. So like I said, amazing place for under or approximately 300,000 um, to for a first home buyer. Two bedroom, one bath, okay, 833 square feet. This home was built in 1951, and the homes here range in, you know, late 40s and early 50s or so, so mid-century, but, you know, for homes like this, it's completely renovated and, and you know, with dual pane windows, newer, well, actually with the flooring, they really try to keep the original hardwood flooring so you still have that character of these uh, amazing built homes. Yeah, so the cool thing about this, yeah, this subway tile, of uh, um, backsplashes and the cool bathroom finishes under the flooring tile as well. So you really are able to modernize this home, which is really appealing and great for first time home buyers because you don't necessarily have to worry about anything. And like I said, the price is approximately 300000 Yeah, all fixed up, yes. ready to go. So if you want something, you can actually get stuff in this neighborhood, 220 to 230 that needs, needs some work. But if you want something that's moving ready, fully updated you're looking at 300,000 to 315,000 for about a thousand to 1100 square feet on average so let's talk really quick about affordability on a home like this so if you're purchasing a home and let's say it's about 300,000 Roy what do the numbers look like uh, with a monthly payment on that right so for $300,000 um, if you're a first-time home buyer, you may want to, you know, apply for an FHA loan, and the minimum down payment for an F FHA loan is 3.5 percent. So at 300,000, your down payment for this home is 10,500 dollars. Mind you, that's not including the closing costs, but your monthly payment would be 1,900 dollars, 1,900 dollars at a 3.758 interest, 30-year fixed. A lot of buyers are concerned with like down payment, right? How right. can I come up with the ten thousand five hundred dollars? You know, there are down payment assistance programs, and check out our link on the bottom, which will tell you the different ways and how we can get you help uh, with down payment and yeah. closing costs. Yeah, and or just give us a call. We'll leave our information down below, and we actually also do a monthly uh, buyers workshop. Right. Yeah, it's a free workshop. Uh, shameless plug right here but see that link below uh, it's a free workshop it's about an hour and a half or so where you're, you don't have to work with us if you don't want to we just want to educate people right. uh, so if you so happen to be in the Sacramento area uh, we do that once a month at our office so you can see that link in the description right it's called hacking home ownership you could actually go to hackinghomeownership.com where we go over the process from beginning to end. We go over market trends in the Sacramento County. Um, we go over the down payment assistance programs as well as purchasing a home uh, regularly. And at the end of the day, it's like we're just offering information, education, and tips. For a lot of the first time home buyers who are super stressed and have all this anxiety yeah. when buying a home, and we were like, you know what? We just want to relieve that anxiety of having this overwhelming process bombard you off your shoulders. And you know what, the only best way to remedy that is education and yeah. that's what we do. And yeah. we usually get free food too. So yeah. if anything, hey, at least you can get it from some free dinner. Yeah, if it's Tuesdays, <laughs> you definitely get tacos. Tacos on Tuesdays. All right, let's go check out the park really quick and then uh, we'll show you guys one more home. that's just down the street uh, so this one's actually on the market right now right and so it's been on the market about four days and so the price on this one's 315,000 it is a three bedroom one bath uh, 1092 square feet uh, lot size is 0.12 acre lot but completely renovated moving ready dual pane windows new AC new laminate wood flooring and the finishes in the kitchen and bathrooms you'll love yeah pretty nice 
definitely the style that's going on right now. All right, so let's do a quick walkthrough yeah. of this one. So we got here, bam. So you lose your one car garage, and so they convert it into a third How about those Thomas Edison light bulbs? Super nice. All right, so the main living area right here, we have the kitchen on this one. I'll show you some of the updates. They got subway tile, granite countertops. Actually, it looks like granite. Nice farmhouse style, farmhouse sink. Cabinetry, premium. And let's check out the bathroom really quick. Here we go. Nice. Extra storage, baskets, they're a must. <laughs> so just like I said, another amazing find that you could purchase here in Mangan Park at approximately 300,000 with four days on the market. I'm sure this home will go relatively pretty quick. So thank you so much for checking out the video today. Please be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel. Also share it if you know of anyone that's looking to buy or sell real estate. You can contact myself or Roy down below in the description. We'll leave our contact information in there. And uh, again, thank you and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.